welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of every recipient of the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrosch, and today's episode is episode number 223. And if this is your first time hearing this podcast, welcome on board and please be sure to subscribe wherever it is that you are listening, whether it's on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, YouTube. Uh, You really don't subscribe on Facebook, but be sure to give the Facebook page a like and follow as well as Instagram, even though you can't listen there, but it does let you know on Instagram when there's new episodes and uh, let you know when they are out as well as uh, if you subscribe to all the other places that you can get media from they'll automatically upload to your feed every Wednesday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And now, a tale of honor. Robert was born on the 4th of March, 1929, in Oroville, California, and like many other recipients that I've had to cover, not much is known about his early life. However, his actions on the 9th of October, 1950, with Company E, 8th Cavalry Regiment, 1st Cavalry Division, earned him the Medal of Honor posthumously. The citation reads, P.F.C. Young distinguished himself by conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty in action. His company, spearheading a battalion drive deep in enemy territory, suddenly came under a devastating barrage of enemy mortar and automatic weapons crossfire, which inflicted heavy casualties among his comrades and wounded him in the face and shoulder. Refusing to be evacuated, P.F.C. Young remained in position and continued to fire at the enemy until wounded a second time. As he awaited first aid near the company command post, the enemy attempted an enveloping movement. Disregarding medical treatment, he took an exposed position and firing with deadly accuracy killed five of the enemy. During this action, he was again hit by hostile fire, which knocked him to the ground and destroyed his helmet. Later, when supporting tanks moved forward, P.F.C. Young, his wounds still unattended, directed tank fire which destroyed three enemy gun positions and enabled the company to advance. Wounded again by an enemy mortar burst and while aiding several of his injured comrades, he demanded that all others be evacuated first. Throughout the course of this action, the leadership and combative instinct displayed by P.F.C. Young exerted a profound influence on the conduct of the company. His aggressive example affected the whole course of the action and was responsible for its success. P.F.C. Young's dauntless courage and intrepidity reflect the highest credit upon himself and uphold the esteemed traditions of the U.S. Army. Robert's Medal of Honor was presented to his parents the following year on the 2nd of August because Robert Harley Young died at the age of 21 on the 5th of November, 1950. He was also posthumously promoted to corporal and he is buried in the Golden Gate National Cemetery in San Bruno, California, Section O, Grave 8. And that was a Tale of Honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com for more information, other ways to listen and support the podcast, and please be sure to leave a good rating and a nice review. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrosch. Thanks for listening. <laughs>